All right, want a good laugh? That guy right there in the middle, he was voted best dancer in high school back in the day at DeRitter High. <laughs> that guy. I guess all the most likely to succeed and best personality awards were already handed out. We gotta give that Doug guy something. Uh, yes, I love music. Fun fact, I used to be a radio DJ back in the day, but it doesn't compare to this. Have you seen this dance party USA going on up and down Benton Road in Bossier City? Boy, his earbuds are loaded with the good stuff. In between the sounds of passing cars. There we go. <laughs> big rig hello. It's what you can't hear going on between A.D. Scott's earbuds that leaves you guessing. Like, we don't know what you see doing. So they, they believe we're out there panhandling. With we see the moves. But what he's moving to. That's not it. They, don't even, they still don't get it. What he's moving to. That's not it. That's definitely not it. As far as country, we don't really. <laughs> we, don't, we don't dance in country, but we can't. AD and his dance partner in crime, Larry Sci-Fi Wallace, guy. <laughs> have found all sorts of ways to keep their passion for dance alive. All of this is popping. Decades after its birth back in the 70s. When you see me doing this, all of this is waving. He's just got the moves. Such smooth moves that the roly-poly sandwich shop hired AD to be a curbside sign holder. Kiki, you love me. Figuring Kiki. So you never ever leave from beside me. And everyone else would love to see it and would love to eat it. Roly-poly's brand new breakfast menu. So I thought, what better than to have a sign dancer here at the Roly-poly? And it has really helped us a lot. And I need a... ad has been wearing out the grass just outside Roly Polies every Monday morning. You never ever leave from beside me. Mondays, you already know everybody dreading to be going to work on Mondays pretty much. And on Friday afternoons... Well, you know, the weekend comes, so everybody hype. They probably going out tonight. Just down Benton Road outside Metro PCS. Springer Cruz, nobody else. Sent but it was almost three years ago when I first saw his moves on display for free on a random street corner. One of the first times A.D. and his fleet of foot friends started taking their dance acts public. That's when I first started out. Oh, when you see me there, we didn't have a studio then. <laughs> that studio... It may be an old wooden and dark storage building behind his house. Pretty loud? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and the battle to keep the music louder than the locusts is never ending. But it's where the creativity behind the moves is ever growing. We grew up doing this. You know, when we was younger, that's pretty much what we had. That's pretty that's much all we, all we did. Yeah. Um, Especially, both of us come from Fair Park High School, matter of fact, so we represent from Fair Park, which was a dancing school back, you know, back in our day. That's what we did, you know, we were dancing in the gym, auditorium, cafeteria, it didn't matter, we were battling. The kind of dance battle videos that fill AD's Facebook feed, from inside their makeshift studio near the Ingleside neighborhood, to the freestyle moves on display in downtown, inside the mall or outside the Taco Bell. Location clearly doesn't matter. We really want to perform for people and so that, you know what I'm saying, there are people down here that dance. A subculture of people who love to dance that continues to grow by the day. I've been dancing um, for like 12, 13 years. Audrey Lutz recently met this dancing duo on a movie set. I just want to improve as a dancer in any way that I can. It's kind of mind blowing how much stuff that I've learned. And even though AD has given away plenty of his dance moves for free. Basically I was street dancing already on that particular corner mm -hmm. before I had even got that job. There's definitely a sense of accomplishment knowing you're getting paid to do something you already love. Even if you dance the other guy right out of his job. They had a guy out there pretty much came out there with a sign and he wasn't really doing too much. <laughs> kind of got replaced. Yeah, so I <laughs> But if AD isn't careful and starts slacking on his feet, I know a certain store owner. We do anything from country, ballroom, swing, a little Latin. That takes dance himself and will gladly step in. That is salsa. At a moment's notice. He gonna come out for real? Oh, I'm finna say that I ain't never seen him. <laughs> so AD says he'll be sharpening his popping, sliding, and waving up and down Benton Road. Give me that. Give me that hog. There we go. 
just in case. Anybody popping? He will. <laughs> the Drake song. Uh, it, it, he was just, I've tro- driven past that guy so many times. And uh, literally, about three years ago, I saw him just dancing on a street corner, videoed him that time. You saw it in the piece. Ran into him at uh, Christmas in the Sky event for Shreveport mm-hmm. uh, Regional Arts Council. And I said, man, I wanted to do a story on you one day. It took a couple of years, but right. we knocked it out because I saw him on Benton Road. I'm like, all right, we got to knock this out. He's been dancing ever since. And Great way to stay in shape. Exactly. Uh, just <laughs> just having fun. And uh, fortunately, it's just a few of us could raise our hands and say, hey, we really get paid to do what we love to do. Exactly. Right. Way to go. Taking care of men.